Senator Sanders, um, first of all, a message to, to your people in Vermont. Well, I think uh, this country has been crying out for real leadership for a number of years. And I thought we saw a president today, finally, after eight years, step up to the plate, have the courage to take a hard look at the very, very serious problems facing our country, the loss of jobs, the need for a health care system that guarantees health care to all people, education reform, and the, and the need to fundamentally change the way we do energy in this country. Those are the problems. He laid it out. The solutions are not going to be easy. But I very much appreciate somebody at least having the guts to tell the people the truth and to move this country in a very different direction from where we've been for the last eight years. A lot of talk this morning in Vermont radio was about the fact that the governor was one of the invited guests of uh, the president and Mrs. Obama. Well, the governor was right here about three minutes ago. Uh, what I think uh, the president is trying to do is reach out to as many Republicans as he can to try to gain bipartisan support uh, for the legislation that is going to be passed. There, there are two issues in the, uh, in the stimulus bill I'm a little concerned with, and one is that the FCC is supposedly going to study the issue of broadband before they get rural broadband in the next year. That's what we're, we're no, seeing. I don't think so. I think there's money out there. And I think God only knows that in rural states like Vermont, we need broadband. I mean, it is beyond comprehension that we still have communities throughout the state of Vermont and throughout rural America where young people and businesses don't have access to the Internet. That is, you know, beyond comprehension, and we've got to aggressively address that. And the other issue is some people, such as myself, are a little concerned that there isn't enough in the stimulus for alternative energies, et cetera, that there should be more. Well, look. The answer is, yeah, I happen to agree with that. But you know what? Let's take a deep breath. Uh, you know, a few months ago, progressives were saying, we need, I know it sounds crazy, we need a stimulus package of $300 billion. Oh, my goodness, no, that's unimaginable. It can't happen. This is a stimulus package of almost $800 billion. As he indicated tonight, there is more money in this legislation going to weatherization, energy efficiency, and sustainable energy than has ever, ever taken place in this country by far. Is it everything I want? No. Is it a huge step forward in moving us toward energy independence and breaking our dependency on fossil fuels? It sure is. Now the challenge that we face, and he has pointed this out within the last couple of days, is we're going to need our governors, our mayors, our local officials, our management people to take this money and move it aggressively and create the kinds of jobs and the transformation of our economy that we need, which, by the way, is a harder task than it looks like. One last question. How long do you suppose it's going to be till the Vermont economy really begins to recover? I think Vermont's economy is tied into the rest of the country. Uh, what the economists are telling us is that the next few months are not going to be good. We're going to see more and more unemployment. Uh, the immediate goal, to be frank with you, and I think the president intimated this tonight, is we have got to do everything with this country falling into a depression. That's really where we're at. We're in right now a very deep recession. We've got to s stop the drift toward a depression. Uh, we've got to get the banks starting to lend money. And I hope the stimulus package will move us forward uh, in terms of creating millions of jobs that we desperately need. Senator, always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.